Many factors ranging from agriculture to transportation to city planning, school lunch options and much more influence our overall health. Whether it's the health of one person, a city or the world. When we think about the factors that affect a person's health, the biggest challenge of all is that there isn't just one factor, but it's a collection of interacting factors. We know from decades of research that the complexity of those systems greatly overwhelms our intuitive ability to understand how they operate. How can we better understand these real-world interactions? What can we do with this information? Formal computer-based models are just about the only way to gain reliable insight or to create evidence about how those systems behave and how we can design a better future. What kind of questions could we answer? We're at an era in time where sort of information has exceeded our ability to effectively deploy it in actual practice, and that's true for medical practice or public health practice. So I think the critical challenge of our time now is how do we, how do we take people working on information discovery, innovation knowledge, and actually get that linked up with people in the trenches who are practicing medicine, who are trying to improve the health of communities. Where we need to go is a place where that data is brought to a new level where then really smart and intelligent modeling and, and, and uh, use of that data is applied in a way that can really predict strategies, the, the effect of strategies and how they can improve the health of a population. To answer these questions, scientists at IBM Research Almaden are launching a new research effort called SPLASH. Lots of different organizations have models or ways of understanding different pieces of what is a, a very complex system, but nobody brings those different pieces together. That's what the grand challenge is. How do we put all those things together into a single whole picture? To fuse together millions of nodes of data that reside in disparate models spread across agriculture, transportation, city planning, and much more. It has never been done before to put these models together. To better understand and simulate real-world interactions that influence the health of individuals, communities, cities, nations, and the world. This is very important because otherwise what happens is every time we have a new situation, need a new model, we start from scratch, it gets very expensive, it's very time consuming. Uh, if we have a standard platform that we can all build on, we can focus on the content or representing the policy issues at hand rather than creating the software from scratch. Nobody else in the world has the computational capability and the computational science that we have. We're the ones who can actually bring all these things together and integrate them and actually run them in-house. Nobody else can do that. Well, our hope for the future uh, with, with a capability like Splash is to be able to make planning decisions, investment decisions, based on an understanding of how the complex world actually works and how the interactions of systems in that complex world actually works, as opposed to just thinking about those systems in isolation. Enabling a smarter health system requires more than encouraging better nutrition and exercise habits for individuals. It requires a systemic approach and collaboration between a vast array of people and organizations that can positively impact the health of our planet.